Hi guys, welcome back. I hope all is well and everyone's having a great day. If you are new here, welcome. Today I will be sharing with you what I purchased the month of February. So I have some pretty good things here. Um, this is definitely one of my smallest hauls, which I'm actually super excited because I had the willpower to scale it back because December and January, I had massive hauls and I wanted to, I promised myself I would never use the word no buy again. So I put myself on a slow buy for February and I succeeded. So I'm super excited about that. But I'm gonna share with you what I purchased. And first, we're gonna start off with the Happy Mail, of course. I received this beautiful book. This is Unicorns um, by Color It. This is a very nice book. The paper is awesome. And this book was gifted to me by Karen Colors. Karen always send me the nicest gifts. This paper in this book is nice paper. And I can't wait to color in this book. Not only because it's unicorns, but I like the paper in the book. It's single-sided, it's bound at the top, and it's just a nice book. And it's been on my wish list forever. And she gifted me this book. So I am super excited. You will see a flip through of this book coming very, very soon. This is Colorful Unicorns by Color It. Everything you see here, there will be a link below to purchase it. Thank you, Karen. I really appreciate it. Guys, check out Karen's channel. Um, I'm going to leave the link to Karen's channel below. So check it out. Sweet, beautiful person inside and out. My next happy mail came from Barbara. Um, Barbara is a member of my Facebook group as well as a subscriber. Always trying to, this is a very large book. So I'm just trying to get it in frame. Barbara is always very supportive and I really appreciate her. Thank you so much, Barbara, for this book. And of course, we experience um, delivery issues with this book and Amazon, which quite a few of us have been experiencing that lately, but I finally received the book. And I'm gonna pick up a normal size book just to give you an idea of how large this book is. You see, you have all this room down here on each size in the top. This is your normal size book. And this book is huge. <clears throat> I can't wait to color in this book. The paper is amazing. This is Secret Garden Artist Edition. You have 20 illustrations in this book. That's the cover and then you actually have the book. It is single sided. This is the thickest paper in a coloring book that I have ever seen. And I have artist editions and special editions of all kinds of coloring books, all price ranges. But this is, you can hear it. This is one page. This is the thickest paper that I've ever come across in an adult coloring book. So I am super excited to have this special edition, artist edition book. I could use all kinds of water mediums. I You can use anything you want to use on this book. The paper can definitely handle it. It's single sided and they come out of the book really, really easy because they are made to color and frame. But this is Secret Garden Artist Edition by Joanna Basford. I will have the link to this book below. And Barbara, thank you so much. My next book is another artist edition. The next few books I purchased myself. 
this in this book I ordered actually in December I want to say I think it was December the end of December maybe the very first part of January but it took this book a very long time to come this is daydreams the artist edition 20 drawings to color and frame very nice book again one of the thickest papers it's not quite as thick as the paper in the joanna bassford book but this paper is still the thickest paper um, other than the Joanna Bassler book I just showed you, this is also the thickest paper that I've ever seen in an adult coloring book. And they are single-sided. They will hold up to any medium, wet, dry, whatever. Can't wait to color in this book. And I actually got this book on a steal of a deal. I don't know if it was marked the wrong price, which I'm quite sure it was. This book was like $5 and some change. Yes, $5 and some change. And the shipping was $2.99 or $3.99, which I still paid under $10 for this book. So I think it was a mistake, honestly. Or they were just trying to get rid of them. I don't know, but I was lucky to stumble up on this book. This is Daydreams by Hannah Carlson. This is the artist edition and it's 20 illustrations in this book. If you can get your hands on this book, I highly recommend it, especially if you want to use water mediums. I highly recommend this book. I will have the link to the book below. My next book I purchased myself um, is The Invisible City. This is by Mardell Rubio. I have a flip through on my channel of this book. I absolutely love it because of the dark line art you know i'm a sucker for the dark line art i absolutely love it and this is just a really cool book check out that flip through on my channel and this is one of the first illustrations that i plan to color i love this absolutely love it and the link will be below to this book as well this is the invisible city by Mardell Rubio. It is um, single-sided, perforated edges, all the good stuff we love in an adult coloring book. Okay, you've heard me talk about this book several times that I had not received it. I actually just received this book um, a couple of days ago. And this is Color My Sketchbook by Bennett Klein. And I've wanted this book for so long and it was unavailable. I couldn't get it anywhere and it finally became available on Amazon and I purchased the book right away because I know it wasn't going to be up there for very long. Purchased the book right away. I would say probably 20 to 30 minutes later, it was unavailable. So I was happy I purchased the book and it took the book a very long time for me to get it. Um, I have not even broke the spine on it because I plan to do a flip through for you guys. I love the line art. It is very nice grayscale. Just a beautiful book. This is Color My Sketchbook by Bennett Klein, a book that I have been waiting on for a long time. My next book is a new release that I have not did the flip through for yet. Um, this is t ma Magical Tiny Houses um, by Alexandria Donnerman. And this is the cutest book. Love it. I've actually filmed this flip through. I just, for some reason, I don't know why I haven't put it out. But I'll make sure I put this flip through out this evening. So you will see this the same day that you see this um, haul video because I'll put this one out later the, in the evening. This is Magical Tiny Houses. This book is so cute. It just came out last week. And the last book I purchased is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Very cute book. It's grayscale. It has a story on one side. 
and an illustration on the opposite. Really cute. I can't wait to color in this book. It is very large pages, wide pages. I'm just excited to have this book. This is another book that I've wanted for quite some time. And it went down in price, so I purchased it. And it did take me quite a long time to receive that one as well. The guys, that's I know you can't believe it, but that's all the books I have that I purchased myself in February. Well, it's not. I purchased several books from SD. Um, I'm going to have just a SD haul when I get all of the books because I purchased, I think, nine books from SD. And I purchased a couple of books from Carolina, Carolina Kubikowska. Probably mispronouncing that. Um, they have not even shipped yet, and it's been a month. So I don't know what's going on there. I'm very curious and you know, you can go to her website and you can email her and you know, check on your order. I have done that twice and I haven't received any information back yet. Um, she have not replied to my email or anything like that. So I'm a little upset with the customer service um, with, her a little bit you know not saying anything bad about her um but the customer service is not the greatest because i mean it's been two weeks and i haven't heard anything back yet but i hope she's okay we're gonna get to my next item um my we're gonna get to the supplies this is the supplies i purchased yes this is a ranger this is ranger packaging and thanks to Ryan at Color and Recover, I was able to get the new colors of Stickles Gel. I'm going to open them. And you know I waited to open them with you guys. So I'm going to open them right now. Yeah, so Ryan um, listed a link and I clicked the link and I purchased them right away. I am also going to put the link to Ryan's channel below. Um, it's Color and Recover. I know most of you guys already know Ryan, but if you don't and if you didn't see the the his community tab post about these babies, I'm going to have him listed below that link below. That way you can use Ryan's link and you know, it supports his channel and you can order these babies. Please use this link. We have to support each other. Okay, I'm trying to get this open guys. I have very um, flat nails square so it's like hard for me to open things so just bear with me all right there we go because i want to open these up and show you guys so i'm gonna take the plastic off And if you also order from scrapbook.com, um, Ryan is also an affiliate for them. Um, I'm gonna get his, I'm gonna get some information from him with his links. And I'm gonna post his links um, for these companies on my community tab. Because I know we all order from these companies, but if we can use someone's link and support that's even better. So I may not have the link below, his affiliate links below, other than the um, Ranger one, but I'll have the, I'll put it on my community tab in the next day or two. 
All right, look at this beautiful color. Yes, new color. This beautiful purple. We have a pink. You know I'm excited about that one. And this bright, beautiful yellow. They are not open yet, but we're going to play with these. Look at that color. Look how bright, how beautiful. So beautiful. So excited to have these new colors. Just beautiful colors. Happy that they came out with some new um, Stickles gel colors. Look at that. Beautiful. It's like pink and purple. Magenta and purple. Pink. So that's my new Stickles gels. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. All right, what's next on the list? I ordered, when I placed the order for um, the sneaky pins, and if you were on that live stream, you know what the sneaky pins are, and you know the whole story with the sneaky pins. I purchased um, two colors of Pentel um, Hybrid Dual Metallics that I don't think I have, but I think one of them I actually have. But we'll see. This is, this is gold, metallic red, and gold. This, I think, is a special edition, and I don't think I have it. I don't know. Maybe I do. And this one is light green, metallic blue, and red. So I don't know, they said special editions, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet, but these came from um, Scrapbook Pal. Uh, I, am, I will definitely have the link below and I will, happy to announce that I will be working with Scrapbook Pal in the very near future. And I will be an affiliate. While well, I'm an affiliate, I'm just waiting on all my, for my information to come in. And I'm excited. So thank you, Scrapbook Pal. All right. I purchased these um, for a second time because the first time I purchased them, I gave them away. I will not give these away. But this is the Neo Color 2s. This is the full set. I, well, I say the full set. One day, I will get my hands on that set of 126. Um, years ago, Neo Color 2s used to come in a set of 126. And I want that set used. I don't. I know it's going to be used. I don't care. I want that set, and I have been looking for them. I have a friend looking for them and we have not been able to find them. Um, what it's going to take for me to actually get that set of 126 is someone is going to have to want to sell that old set of 126. So one day I will get that set of 126 with all those extra colors. It is extremely heavy. So excited. Look how beautiful, they're so beautiful. Love them. I love these, I love Neo Color 2s. It's so easy to do a background with them and And this is the second tray. Beautiful. I love these fall colors, love them. Love them, love them. But you've been seeing me lately use Neo Color 2s. Maybe those videos are actually not, I don't know, they are not out yet, but they'll be coming out soon because they're actually already filmed. 
Yes. This is Neo Color Twos. So if anybody know or if anybody have that set of 126 that they want to sell, I will purchase it. Because I want it so bad. All right. That's my Neo Color Twos. All right. We are going to look at my Hobby Lobby haul, which is a lot of stuff. <laughs> in Hobby Lobby, um, I don't know if you have a Hobby Lobby in your area. If you do, they have all kind of stamping and card making stuff on clearance. Lots of stuff. I mean, lots. And I went in there and I bought everything that I could possibly find. This is um, Make Art Stay Station, okay? It's magnetized. You can put your, um, well, I'm going to actually use it for coloring because I haven't quite um, dove into the card making yet, but I have been buying stuff to start card making. But I can easily put my page on here and my stencil and stencil my background without my page sliding, without having to tape it to my glass mat and different things like that. So, so happy to have this. It's by Ranger. Um, this is a, originally $21.99. I got it for $5.49. So I was super excited to get this at such a great price it only had one and i put it in my sh well actually i didn't have a sharpen card at first i just had one of those little hand things and then i started seeing all kind of good stuff and i'm like okay i need a regular size sharpen card so i ran back got a regular size sharpen card and yeah but on the back it has all of the magnetized ruler it's all magnetized and the magnets to hold it all on there so cool so you can just really i mean this is going to work well for adult coloring for backgrounds like doing different types of backgrounds using like stencils and stuff like that this is going to work well for me so i'm so happy i bought it and happy i got it for the price that i got it for and this is my make art station excited you know the price excites me more than anything more than anything all right moving on to hobby lobby stuff one. Oh. They had the clear, they had the stamp box on sale, $5.99. I got it for $1.49. And this is the long one. And it's by Stamp Abilities. They're nice and heavy. This one also by Stamp Abilities. $11.99. I got it for $2.99. Great prices for these. It's the only two sizes they had. And you know, you just mount your stamp on the block. All right. And about stamp blocks. So. You know I bought stamps. A dollar forty nine. It's just sentiments. Flowers. Can't wait to use this one on a background. Great price. More sentiments.
another flower and butterfly insects. It's in the pack upside down. So someone must have taken it out. Great price. This one was not on sale, but I wanted this one because I could really make some pretty backgrounds on a coloring page with this. So I bought it anyway, because I really liked it. So that's the only one that I paid the full price for. And I was in Dollar Tree yesterday, and I found these for a buck at the Dollar Tree. Really cute, whimsical. Dream catchers, love, hearts, and birds. So I got those few at the Dollar Tree. So that's all the new stamps. And I will be incorporating all of the stamps in my adult coloring. Now, you know, I have to have something diamond painting related. And the only thing that I have that has actually come in diamond painting related is my Randa's Crafty Corner Scented Putty. This stuff is amazing. I absolutely love it. And it smell like blueberry pie. I love it. It is awesome in my multiplacer. Um, she also recently came out with wax um, that you use in a single placer. I've also used this in my single placer and it works fine. I actually like it in my single placer as well. So I've had it in both and it works fine, but she said the wax work awesome in the single placer. So hopefully I will have some wax soon. All right, now we're going back to Hobby Lobby because I still have a couple of more Hobby Lobby things to share with you. And a couple of months ago, you guys, um, I shared brush show with you guys and I had purchased brush show and I was looking for the wax resistant crayons and I found them at Hobby Lobby because you can, before you just say I'm doing a background with brush show, I can write um, whatever I want to write on the paper. You can't see it or I can make grass or I can make clouds and then apply, apply, apply the brush show and that area will stay white. The brush show would not adhere to that part that you put the wax on, so that's why I wanted the wax resistant sticks, and I finally found them. All right, my next Hobby Lobby find is another clearance item. This is the Memento inks. I've been eyeing these for so long in Hobby Lobby, but I was not paying $25. Yes, it's 12 inks. I love the teardrop shape. You can create a background with just the shape alone. So I'm really happy about that. But I'm not gonna open them because we're gonna experiment with them together. I opened it a little bit, they came out of order, but we're gonna experiment with these memento inks. I'm really happy, I paid $7.24 or this pack of 12. I love the colors. And I also bought this set of colors. You have the black, the red, green, and brown, which you don't have those colors in this set. So I was happy to get this set because it's additional colors. So super happy about those. And the price was awesome. Great prices for those. And this is another do drop item, but this is the Brilliance. Um, this is the um, metallic ink. And this I plan to use on backgrounds. I purchased this from um, Amazon. So, and it was a pretty good price. I think it was around 12 or $13. Not bad, but you get platinum, you get silver, you get copper, and you get gold, which I wanted these for, you know, to do backgrounds with. So, super happy to get these. So, 
So we're gonna play with all of those at one time. All right, my last little Hobby Lobby find was these cute little page. I'm gonna use them as page markers. They were by the um, planner stuff, 99 cent. So cute, I had to buy them. All right, that's everything I bought from Hobby Lobby. And I was in TJ Maxx. I picked up this super cute notepad of three pads. Heart shape, you know, I had to have it. And I also bought some watercolor brushes. So excited for those. All right. Guys, I told you it was my smallest haul ever. All right. The pan pastels, I told you I was excited to receive and I had never received them yet. They refunded me my money for these and then they came the next day. Um, This is the grays. We're going to open them. This one is cracked, but I know there's a way you can fix that. So if you know how to fix this, please comment below and tell me how to fix that. But I just, I was, I've been curious to open it to see if the other ones are the same way. So just bear with me while I get it open so we can take a look. These things are so hard to open. There we go. So that's the colors that's in it. It's the grays. We have Payne's gray, black, titanium white, natural gray tint, neutral gray tint, and neutral gray, which I'm a sucker for grays. You guys pretty much know that. Okay, this one is the one that's cracked, so. Let's check out the second color. It's cracked as well. Third color, the white is intact. Sorry guys, I have to, let's see. My black is intact. And we should have one more, huh? Yeah. It's intact. So we have those um, three, those two at the top that I need to, cause I know there's a way you can make those solid again. I don't know how to do it, but I know one of you guys will. So help me out on that guys. Let me know how to fix that cracked one. All right. Got it all over my hands. All right. Before I show you my next set of pan pastels, I forgot about these because they were off to the side. Um, these were on a, a lightning deal, I want to say, or they was just that cheap, I don't remember. This is the Ohuhu 24 set of metallic marker pens. Let's open them up. I got these a couple of weeks ago. Ooh, they're pretty. Sorry about the noise. They're pretty. Let's get a pink. They are really pretty. The barrel has glitter. It has indicator for the brush side and the fine side. Let's look at it. Ooh, that's nice. That's the fine. 
And we have our brush side. Small brush. I have a piece of paper here. I just want to see. Know, but I like how they look. Oh, they're oh, it's really pretty. Oh, I like them. Okay. Uh -huh. That's nice. Let's get another color. Let's do a green. You know I have to do green. Oh, look at this pretty blue. Let's get this pretty blue. I like it. I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see. We may have to swatch these out. They are nice and metallic. Kind of 3D looking a little bit. I don't know, but I like them. I didn't think I would really like them and they were really cheap. I mean, really cheap, not, not over $12 cheap. And you get what, 24, I think? Yeah, 24. That's not bad. We're going to have to swatch these out. So look for that video. I wasn't going to swatch them out. I was just going to show you guys. But I really like how they look. So we're going to have to swatch these out. And that is 24 set of metallic marker pens from Ohuhu. And these haven't been out very long. So... We're gonna definitely swatch those out and check those out. All right, guys, my last item of this haul is the Skin Tone Set in the um, tray from Pan Pastel. So excited to have these and work on skin tones on my coloring pages. Let's see how I open this. Here we go. Sorry about the noise. This one also came with tools. It was a great price. I think it was like 40. Um, let me get the sponges out. It was 40 some dollars. And it came with the tools, the tray, um, the pads. It has another pad in here. Let me get it out. I got all that for like 40 some dollars. I think it was 40. It was $39 or $38, you know, plus tax, which is not bad for the pan pastels um, and the tray and the tools. That was a great deal. That was this is this was a really good deal. Um, this is everything right here that that comes in the package. Really nice, great deal. I found it to this to be a great deal. But yeah, because I needed one of these, but now I don't have to pay ten dollars for one. <clears throat> I have another tool with some more refills, so that's all pretty cool. And I have three extra spots on this tray to put some more light colors. So I'm really happy um, with this purchase. All right, guys, if you have any questions about anything you see here, I will have all the links listed below. So check it out if you would like to purchase anything. Like I say, this is one of my smallest hauls, but I'm proud I scaled back some and then spent all the money I usually spend but I don't know how March 
<laughs> I don't know how March will turn out. I said I was gonna stay on my slow buy and just use some of the products that I already have because I have a lot and I need to use it. But I said March, I was gonna work on completing collections. Like work on, I, no, I will probably not complete my pan pastel collection, but I could work on purchasing more pan pastels, more distressed ink, um, stickles. I want to work on um, start collecting liquid pearls. I have maybe two. I want to work on that. So I said I was going to work on collections, completing collections for March. We'll see. We'll see. We have a lot of new releases coming out this year. A lot of them have been introduced to Amazon and you can pre-order. Um, as they, as I see them, I will put them on my community tab. So it's wise to pretty much check my community tab daily. Um, I always put new releases and, you know, different things that go on sale and great prices there. So always check out my community tab as well as um, new things that's going on in the channel. Guys, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and if you are not a subscriber, subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.